So here we are at Camp Jeep in Chicago. And we're in a Wrangler Rubicon. Of course the top's off. We've got the um, sway bars disconnected. We're coming up to uh, a place that we showcase the ground clearance. You know, the Wrangler's got almost 11 inches of ground clearance. But what's amazing, if you look at the, uh, the ground that we're going over, is how much play this vehicle has. We're just walking through, you know, a crazy obstacle that most people wouldn't think they could even walk through, and the Wrangler just made a light work of it. The other thing is stability. So off-roading, um, you need to make sure you have a very stable vehicle. So when your vehicle is actually on the side of a rock, you've got good stability. And you know, this doesn't happen a lot in nature, but <laughs> you know, your Wrangler makes you feel very comfortable even when you're at a uh, at 20 or 30 angle to the side. When you have a look at the suspension work, these sway bars are disconnected here. So it actually shows, when you take a look at the, uh, you know, the, the different logs and the different angles that our, uh, the logs are placed at, it's amazing that the vehicle even feels as stable as it does. Most vehicles would be stuck back there. The Wrangler just makes really light work of it. Take a look at this, uh, this rock that we're gonna take a, um, a drive over it. You know, most people would say you can't even uh, walk over that. In fact, most people would have a hard time walking over it. But the, uh, the Wrangler, again, makes really light work of it. So the sway bar is disconnected. All the power gets to the ground, and uh, it just walks its way through. This is really light work for a Wrangler. And of course, handling and maneuverability mean a lot when you're off-roading. So you need to have, you know, your vehicle have a tight turning circle. So we're actually going over logs, but it's a decreasing radius turn that shows how maneuverable your Wrangler can be. And this one's a really interesting one because articulation is important and getting the amount of power you can to the ground uh, with a Wrangler is, is really nice. And that's what really shows what the sway bar disconnect can do. If you take a look at the, uh, the, the, the camera that we have up there, most vehicles actually would be, you know, the right rear you can see in the camera now would be up in the air, but the Wrangler just adjusts. And, you know, it's got so much articulation, it's able to put all the power to the ground, and we just kept driving through that event where most customers uh, would find themselves stranded if they were driving anything but a Jeep. Every one of our Jeep vehicles, whether it be a Compass, a Patriot, a Grand Cherokee, or a Wrangler, are um, designed to be able to do that. And it shows that they can transfer the power and get the power to the ground. Now this is the, the famous uh, Jeep Hill, and it really is designed to help show uh, what traction is all about. And um, I'm gonna have a little bit of fun with this, uh, with this Wrangler here, and I'm gonna put on the rear locker and help uh, show how much traction this Jeep has. You take a look at this. Now we're uh, climbing up a 35 degree angle, but now I'm gonna have a little even a little more fun. Take a look at this. This is my hands off the steering wheel. We call this hill ascent assist, and actually you can put the power back into the Jeep and climb back up the 35 degree hill. Take a look at that. All we're looking is straight up into the, uh, the top of the uh, uh, McCormick Center here, the Sh Chicago show. But then when you get a chance, look out over the whole show, then this is something that you know, a lot of customers will wait in line to do because how else can you see this angle from the auto show? Now the best thing is you get to see all the Jeep vehicles and then uh, you get a, a chance to get a, a perspective um, on life that you can only get in a Jeep. And you know, there's so many other uh, perspectives, whether it be the Rubicon Trail or Moab or any of the favorite trails that uh, you know are, um, Jeep Jamboree folks take uh, customers on. It's always about getting another new perspective on life and that's what's so appealing uh, about the Jeep life and the Jeep experience is this vehicle will take you to places where nobody else can. And uh, of course once you go up you have to come down. Uh, but So let's take a look down here. I'm going to show you a couple things. One is just how um, much uh, control we have over this vehicle. So I'm going to actually stop the vehicle on the way down uh, this 35 degree angle, but then I'm going to actually show 
the, uh, I mean, kind of hanging, that's the hanging from Muppets comment that I had earlier. Uh, but now I'm going to show you what hill uh, descent control does. It's in first gear with hill descent control on. So it will now, when I take my foot off the brake, it will release the Jeep and you'll go down at uh, one mile per hour and it will control the Jeep. So I don't have my foot on the brake, I'm just steering. And if you want to go a little faster, you, you uh, take the electronic lane range select, you put it over into, uh, into second gear, and now you're doing two miles per hour and, uh, and so on. So that's one lap at the, uh, at the Chicago Auto Show Camp Jeep and a Wrangler Rubicon.